Wicked Wrapping. My name is Megan and I'll be your guide to everything baby wearing and beyond. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to break in a woven wrap by making it into a pillow. So let's get started. Breaking in a new wrap does not have to be difficult. There are several different ways that you can break in a new hand woven or a new machine woven wrap. One of the ways that I like to do it is by making them into a pillow. This wrap is MMS by Farida. I have a couple other wraps here as well. This one is Once Upon a Story by Wickedly Warped. And another wrap that I'm going to show you how to do today is Ulan by Cheeky Beans. And it's just a nice little way to break in the wrap. So let me unwrap it and we can get started. All right. So here we have our Cheeky Beans Ulan. And this was a semi custom. It is 100% cotton warp with 100% cotton weft. And so it was a little stiff when I got it. Still a little bit crunchy, but it's not too bad. So it needed some breaking in, and one of the ways that I like to do that, like I said before, is making it into a pillow. First, you're gonna start on the end with your tags. I like to start with the end of my tags because then it hides the tags. Um, but really, it, if you wanna start on the other end, it's not going to change the difference of how you're making the pillow. But I like to hide my tags. So I start with the tag side and just kind of Go along and bunch up the end here, just like this, okay? And then depending on the size of your wrap, this is a 5.2 meter. So if yours is shorter, you don't have to make as big of a loop. Um, mine is longer, so I'm going to need more length um, in my loop. So I'm just going to kind of guesstimate here. That looks like a pretty good loop to start with for a 5.1 meter. The trick to doing this, you're gonna flip it over like this, over your little connection site there. After you figure out how much length you want in the middle, flip this long piece over, and you're gonna pull it through the center. As you're pulling it, you're creating tension on the end here, just like this. Creating that tension as you're pulling it through the center and that will help to break in those fibers. It helps to really break in that wrap. Now, you've got your first loop here, so what you're going to do next, just keep looping. Loop it around again. Make sure you're holding on to that first part that you have there, that way that you don't lose that, that little starting point that you have there. But you're going to pull it through and you're pulling it through next to and kind of overlapping next to and overlapping on top of that first pull through and again you're creating tension and pulling it against the wrap the wrap is pulling against itself and creating, breaking in for those fibers. Next one, again, you're going to find where you went across that last loop and pull through, and you're gonna pull it through again, making sure to keep your hand in that one spot to keep everything together from slipping apart. Just pulling through. Until you get all the way to the end. Again, you're gonna wrap it around. Wrapping it around and pulling it through. Wrap around. Pull it through. You can even kind of hear on my wrap, it's still got a little bit of crinkliness to it. And this will definitely get a workout for your arms. It is a good exercise. Over and through. Now 
That's because this one is a little bit of a longer wrap. It will take a little bit longer to do it, but if you have a shorter wrap, you can get done in no time. You can see I'm kind of coming around a bend here, so I'm just going to loop it through, keep going and looping it through. You can kind of shape it as you go. It does not have to be perfect as you're pulling this through. But this is one of the best ways I like to break in a wrap. You really notice a difference when you're breaking in the wrap with this. It helps tremendously. So it really gets those fibers working just like it would if you were wearing the wrap. Now, I'm back at my beginning spot here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna overlap it again, making sure that I'm not getting rid of that loop that I started with. I'm just going to pull it through. And then I'm going to go around again. This is, like I said, a longer wrap, so you can go around multiple times. And now at this point, since you have covered your beginning uh, part of your circle, you don't have to take so much care to make sure that it stays in place because pretty much it's gonna stay in place. There's no way that you're gonna be able to get it um, out of its loop because you have so much binding around it now. So you don't have to um, keep a hold of it anymore. You can just kind of move around the wrap as needed to get it done. So on this second pass, I like to kind of spread out my my wrap a little bit more when I'm going through just to get some lovely colors there. This will make a good pillow to lay on the couch if you need to. And that actually will also help to break it in as well if people are sitting on, on the wrap itself. Again, I'm kind of spreading it out as I go through this second pass. Spread it out, pull it through. Again, I'm gonna spread it out. These last little pieces can be a little bit tricky. You just have to pull and push. Again, that's really helping to break in that wrap. And then this last little bit here, just kind of pull it around. Get all your little tightening done there. And just kind of push it all down in there. And there you have your pillow. Nice little pillow there. One side happens to, or tends to look a little bit better than the other side. I happen to like this side, kind of looks like a flower. Nice little flower there. Lovely little accent to your couch or chair, wherever you'd like it to be. It is very dense. Whenever you wrap up a wrap like this, it does get really dense. Um, my kids lovingly like to call them donuts, um, but it is a great way to break in a wrap. If you have any questions, remember to put them down below in the comments and like and subscribe for other tutorials and reviews on any wrap and anything baby wearing and beyond. And as always, remember, to have a wicked wrapping time. Bye-bye.